Hi, Black Cat Demon here, and I got my Eric 101 Gala Lion or Wild Force Red Lion. Or Red Ranger, I guess. Anyways, I ended up getting my kit today. And two weeks ago, Eric did a cheap run, and the cheap run was $99 on the helmet. These helmets normally run between $150 to 175 I also got the visor plastic. That's how it's coming nowadays. No more perfect visor, I guess. And then you got the clasp. This is all, those two were extra. That's not something that comes in the kit. So without further ado, this is the kit. As you can see, you can see the light bulb. Another thing is too is, yeah, it was made about two weeks ago, you can still smell the resin. Nice smell by the way, it's like smelling gasoline, sorry. But anyways, um, as you can see, the kit has its typical mold line. You got your cut line right here, which is going to be fun to map. But I got to double check and make sure that's a straight line all the way around. So this is going to be Bondo resin. Still got to do the keys. Still got to put the clasps in it. Uh, I do know red, yellow, gold, silver, silver, uh, white outline here, black outline on the here. I don't know if there's any black that goes here around the nose. I gotta look into that more picture-wise. Um, on my reds, I don't know which way to go as far as do I go bright red, do I go dark red, you know. I even thought a chameleon red, which would be great because it would give that gold tone when the light hits it. But if I have gold paint on the top and I have a chameleon that's going red and gold, that might not look too good. But again, it's my helmet. I can do it however I want, but I want to stay kind of show accurate. Uh, one thing I was thinking about doing is, as much as I love the way this thing looks was red, uh, me and my dad years ago did a snake bite model. It never got finished because, you know, stuff came up and everything. So that got put on the back burner. Well, this is what, this is the, the hood of it. But you can see the scales. Now what the kit called for was just to paint this, just straight up red, call it good. Well, what my dad came up with an idea uh, it was, uh, he did all these fine lines with his marker. Yeah, I've had this thing for ages. So he came, he did all that with marker. And then he used this iridescent red paint and everything, I guess. And it was something he came, he's, he was always talking about cars back in the 70s and stuff. And, you know, certain ones how they had this red paint on there and you see the detail work on the under, you know, and through the paint. Well, I like that idea, and that's what I'm wondering is if I can find this color paint, and I can find that, and if I can get a big enough can, maybe, maybe if I can find it and everything, using that. And that way, the lines are still seen throughout this whole thing, all this line work and everything. So, that way I can do, like, black in the whisker, and maybe some, like, subtle details, and then the red goes on the top. And you can see it. And that's what I'm thinking is maybe go that route. But again, I gotta look into this. The state that I live in is <laughs> it's September now, so it's fall. So one day we could be 70 degrees, and another day we could be 50. Our temperatures would go that that fast day to day, day. So what I'm thinking is I can have maybe get all the prep work done over the winter months. It comes spring slash summer when the temperature is just right. Pull it out and then start doing all the paint work. I mean, I still might be able to do the paint work in the winter, but it's kind of risky because you got to run out here. Well, here we got to run uh, heaters in the garage and we don't have the right type of lighting. I mean, we do have some good lighting, but we don't have a lot of good lighting. So that's going to be a challenge with this. So I'd rather wait till summer till we got good, nice heat and good sunlight. That way I can see everything. I would be able to see the runs, I can see thinning, whatever. So this is like I said, this is the Eric 101 Gala uh Gala Lion kit. Uh, another thing is too is um I don't know if anyone really knows knows about this, but Anarchy has switched over his uh Red Ranger helmet to a different kit. And it looks more square on top. It doesn't look all show accurate. So he's going with the version 2 kit. He's not going to do version 1. 
So if you want version one kit, you gotta get from from Eric, and then send it off to one of the helmet makers and get it finished. Because Anarchy is not doing version one style Tresor Ranger helmets anymore. I mean, look into it. I mean, I I prefer the original style to the newer ones, always. But um, yeah. By the way, Anarchy does do these helmets as well. But yeah, I got I got to look more into it as far as the detail. I don't. I mean, I got an idea on some of my lines. I mean, I don't think there's a line that goes around the mouth like on uh, Mighty Morphin. But I don't know uh, a lot of my black line work on this. So that's going to be a fun one. I mean, I've even thought about possibly buying the figure art. So the details on those are always pretty damn good. So maybe get the figure art of this. Like I said, right now it's kind of a toss up on how to do everything. Because, like I said, I got this today. And this is going to be. You know, like I said, my greatest achievement or my greatest fuck up. But it's a challenge and it's a winter project. So, bye.